Coming up in today's video, I'll be discussing how to thicken natural hair, especially 4C hair, naturally thin hair, medium density hair, naturally fine hair. So I'll be covering how to thicken your natural hair. Let's get into today's video. You can see a comparison of my hair in this video from 2021. You can notice a big difference in the look of the amount of hair that is now on my head as comparing to the previous picture. So in today's video, I'll be talking to you about how to thicken your hair, how to make your hair look thicker, especially if it's naturally thin or if it's medium density. First of all, let's touch on density a little bit because you might not know the difference between the three types of density that there is on our hair. And so hair density refers to the number of hair strands that is on our scalp per square inch. And there are many different types of hair density. There is low density, meaning that there are fewer hairs per square inch. And this type of hair tends to look thin and a lack of volume. Then there is medium density, which has average number of hairs per square inch and this type of hair is neither too thin nor too thick and tends to be the most common and that is where I fall. And then there's high density. High density hair means that there's many hairs per square inch and this type of hair tends to look thick and full and can be challenging to style sometimes due to its volume. It's important to say that all of these different type of hair densities have their drawbacks and have their um, benefits. It's essential to note that hair density can vary on your head and it's not uncommon to have different type of hair densities in different areas of your head. And understanding your hair density can help you to choose the right hairstyles and products and hair care routine to help you keep your natural hair looking at its best. So let's talk about my journey a little bit and give you some tips and suggestions of how you can make your hair look fuller video of me in mini braids and I'm going to use the mini braids reference because I'm currently um, doing a series of challenges and using my own natural hair on mini twists and on mini braids and so you can see the transition in my hair as a reference point when I first installed mini braids on my hair. In the video shown, there is no doubt that my hair looks thin and it looks fragile. Remember hair density is the number of hairs that is on your head your head and so although I probably have and we do probably still have all the number of hairs on our head unless we've experienced damage through alopecia etc where we've actually damaged the roots of our hair and hair can no longer grow back in that area we'll still have the same amount of um, plugs hair plugs however what happened here was I had long-term protective style on my hair and it was breaking so it appeared thin through damage but my hair is a medium density. And so it looking there to, to be low density, I know that it was through damage. However, there are ladies hair with low density hair. And as I said, they all have their benefits and their drawback. With low density hair, I believe that it's more um, manageable. You're, e you're easier to manipulate that kind of hair and to let it do what you would like it to do. You can also add things to make it look thicker. Whereas if you have thick hair, it's harder to add certain styles to your hair without it looking too thick. So you can now see my hair in February and even later in May, how my hair going back in mini braids is looking different. The main reason why it looks different is because I cut away the damage. The very first way I'm going to tell you to get thicker hair is to remove the damage from your hair. There's absolutely no point trying to get thicker hair and having the damaged hair on your head. Your hair will look thin as it comes towards the ends. I have held on to some of the damage and I actually wish I'd cut off all of the damage at once. So I was doing a series of trims over 2022, but I could have just given myself a blunt cut. You can see already the difference between the first video and even these two pictures. My hair is progressively looking like I have more hair on my head. My head. It actually looks like I've got more plaits on my head as comparing to the first video. The first way I would say that you can thicken your natural hair. If you have medium density like myself and you've got damage, you can just cut away the damage. It's important hair as a note. If your hair is medium density, cutting away that medium density hair, expecting it to grow back fuller into thicker hair doesn't always work. I've seen it on babies where you've given the baby a, a fresh bald cut 
and that baby's hair appears to grow back in thicker. But I believe that child would have had naturally thick hair anyway. And so um, it doesn't quite work the same way as adults. Uh, we've given the allocated amount of hair strands and that is where our density fall, be it low density, medium density, or high density. And so the next way you can actually promote having thicker hair is avoiding using heat styles. And that is because the heat styles and tools can damage your hair and cause breakage, making your hair look thinner. Uh, using hair dyes, curling irons, blow dryers, and all of those tools will really cause damage on your hair. So as much as possible, if you're trying to get thicker hair, avoid using that. You can see me in these videos doing a variety of DIY styles on my hair. Understanding your own hair will help you to set the expectations of what your hair will grow to look like. And so I know that through these treatments, my hair was not going to look full, uh, full thick density. It was going to be a medium density hair. And I know that as my hair was growing, um, it wasn't going to look completely full. And so my expectations is set. But DIY treatments such as flaxseed, henna, and all of those are great natural ways of thickening your hair. So you can try to use some DIY. Using oils as well. Some ladies have lots of success with coconut oil, olive oil. And I know for a fact castor oil is a great oil that can help to thicken your hair. Massage those oils into your scalp to help to increase the blood flow and therefore promote hair growth. Remember, get to the bottom of if you've had really thick high density hair and it's now thin it could also be something that's on the internal so you want to check that out with your gp thinking why is my hair falling out the best person to check that with is your gp protein treatments have been a game changer for me my hair is high porosity medium density and it absolutely loves protein when you get to know your hair you will understand what it likes and what it dislikes when i put protein treatments in my hair hair they help to strengthen my hair and help to prevent breakage you can buy specific protein rich products such as um Ophagy, and I've had some success with that. However, you're going to use a specific protein treatment. Be very, very careful. Follow the instruction steps carefully or get a professional to do it because you don't want to have protein overload. What I tend to do is DIY protein treatment. Here is a video showing you henna on my natural hair. And henna has really thickened my hair. And given me a lot of success. Once again, once you're using henna, do a patch test. Watch the video on how I apply henna onto my hair, which will give you lots more detailed information of how to have a successful henna application. Finally, a healthy diet can help us with the essential vitamins and minerals like biotin, iron, zinc, that can all help our hair to stay and grow healthily. You can include foods such as eggs, spinach, nuts, and fish in your diet to promote growth. I hope you found new ways in this video of thickening your natural hair. If you have any comments, do leave them down below. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to hear from you. And I'll be doing lots more videos on growing your natural hair. Remember, everyone's hair is unique. And my hair may respond differently to various methods as opposed to yours. So it's important that you get to know your own natural hair. Stay patient and consistent with your natural hair care routine. And you can find much more information in my playlist section. Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Take care.